Scott Brown pens emotional social media post as Celtic legend confirms retirement from playing. And me bitten considering Celtic exit as Israel return hangs in the balance despite club's contract option. Scott Brown has officially called time on his playing career. The Celtic legend left Aberdeen three quarters of the way through the season after Stephen Glass was sacked, the man who brought him to Pitodri. It has been a very difficult decision to call time on my playing career but I'll be 37 next month and I feel the time is right for me to announce that I'm retiring in order to focus fully on becoming a manager. As you see the world of football came to his Instagram to wish him good luck for the future. The ex-Celtic legend went on to say, it's the end of one chapter but the start of a new one and I'm excited about what the future might hold. In other Celtic FC news, Bitten is considering offers from his country's biggest clubs as he prepares to scoop an 8th league winner's medal. The Celtic player has been at the club a while, is it time for him to go home? I'm sure he must be due a testimonial now surely. Me Bitten is considering quitting Celtic in the summer and returning to Israel after nine glittering years in Glasgow. The 30-year-old is on the verge of collecting his 8th Premiership winner's medal with the hoops, and his 18th honour overall after played a big part in the club's decade of dominance. Record Sport understands Celtic have the option of activating another year on his current deal but the midfielder is weighing up offers from his homeland, with Maccabi Tel Aviv and Maccabi Haifa keen on landing the international star. Bitten hinted at the weekend his time at the club was coming to an end as he posted pictures with his family on the parkhead pitch saying, it's been a hell of a journey. Hoops boss Angie Postacogler has viewed versatile Bitten as a valued member of his champions elect this season, with the playmaker making 37 appearances. Not long now. Celtic close in on the title. Champions again, the domination of Scottish football from Celtic over the last 20 years has been amazing. Growing up in the 70s and 80s. Getting my tickets in my early days, from my dad's mate Big Roy Aitken was something else. But the last 20 years of following Celtic, has given us all things we thought were in the past. Doing the nine was special. Looking forward to what this Celtic team can do excites me again. We lavish praise on this Celtic FC side, and rightly so, and now all eyes are on Tanadis, for the league winning game in Dundee. Of course, we'll still have to work hard to win, but these players are focused and will be 100% up for it and finish the job to become champions. I remember being at Dundee United, the last time we won the league up in Dundee, the Huns were playing at Aberdeen. The sight of the helicopter, flying over brought tears to the old guy next to me that night. Wednesday night will be all about Celtic. Celtic fans will also be delighted as signing Jota will be a major deal for the club. He has been a huge player for Celtic, throughout the campaign and the supporters will surely want to see him in action for Postacogla next term with his exciting play out on the wing. Player will come and go the core of this team will stay. Angie will build this Celtic team even more. Dyson Maeda is looking forward to his summer break before returning as a permanent Celtic signing. The striker winger moved to Celtic during the January transfer window, but unlike Rio Hattate and Yosuke Idaguchi, his move from Yokohama Marinos was initially on loan. With Kyogo Furuhashi, and Jorgos Jakumakis, competing for the striking role Maeda, has been on the left wing for Celtic's last three matches and turning in effective performances moving forward or tracking back. Maeda says he can't wait to pen a long-term contract with the Parkhead side after helping them effectively secure the Premiership title. But the 24-year-old is desperate to put his feet up first after playing non-stop for the past 18 months. Maeda said, I am happy here but I am looking forward to resting. I have been playing since the beginning of last season in Japan. I will have to take enough rest to be ready to go again next season. I want to be at my best next season. There has been a variety of reports in recent days, about the chances of Celtic making Cameron Kartavika's permanent signing with work still to be done on the move. And on that note, I hope this made you smile today. Have a great day Celtic fans. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party.